All right, this tip of the day is not going to blow your mind, but it's one of the most important ones out there, right? Improve your posture, improve your life. We're talking about confidence, okay? We're talking about pain level, and we're talking about your ability to build a treehouse. The first two are right and very true. The third one, I can't promise anything about treehouses. But here's what you're thinking. I'm at work all day. How do I do that? Put your seatbelt on, because here we go. All right, we're using this visible body stuff again, which I think you guys loved, because it's amazing. So, right here we have your traps. Now a lot of people think of your traps and you think just these upper shoulder muscles. And you know a lot of people that sit at desks, what happens is these get tired, they get annoyed, and then you get kind of a dull, achy feeling. Well, the trap is actually made up of three, count them, three different sections. We've got our upper traps, our middle traps and our lower traps, okay? Which one do you think most people overuse? The upper traps right here. So what we have to figure out is, how do we strengthen these lower traps and middle traps? How do we get these guys working more while you're sitting? And what they call that is unconscious tone. We've all heard about tone before. Now if we look beneath those, we also have two other really important muscles. Well, multiple. We've got our rhomboids that sit right here, which are in charge of keeping our shoulder blades together and tight, like a good, strong unit. And then we've got our erector muscles, which sit below these guys. So I'm gonna hide our traps. I'm gonna hide our rhomboids. And what we have are these erector muscles right here, okay? And these are in charge of helping with our upright posture, along with all the others that I just talked about. So how do we make those stronger, more consistent and work more throughout the day so we're not feeling in our upper shoulders. We're about to find out. Hope you can do the YMCA. All right, so how do you know if you're a good candidate for this? If you look in the mirror and you see this, you are a great candidate for it. If you sit at a desk, you're a great candidate for it. If you overall want to impress people, with a really good looking back, you want people going, wow, check out that person's backside. You are a candidate for this. So if you want people staring back here, there's one you need to do. They're called eyes, Y's, and T's. So what you do is, you're gonna go up against the wall, okay? The key to this is your lower back needs to be flat against the wall, okay? So you need to press your lower back against the wall, okay? So lower back, suck tight against the wall. You should be able to hold up a piece of paper or a pen between your back and the wall. If you're not doing that, you're gonna end up cheating, and you're gonna arch your back, and then we're not using our upper back muscles, we're using our lower back muscles. So, we start out, back tight against the wall, arms out, thumbs up. The goal is to keep these arms straight, and then you're gonna take it up toward the wall and then back down. And the whole time that back stays flat against the wall. So that pin is there. And you're gonna go up and down. That's your eye, okay? Keeping your arms straight. Let's say you only get to here before that back wants to come off the wall. That's okay, that's as far as you go, okay? It's all about how we do, not how far we go. And then your Y, same thing. You're just making a Y. If you've done the YMCA again, you know what I'm talking about. So you're here. Make your Y. So I'm just go a little bit out to make a Y letter. Okay? Now your T is a little bit different. So I'm going to show you with just one arm. So what you're going to do with both arms, arms are going to start out, okay? Your back is still tucked against this wall. So imagine that there's a wall behind me. You're going to take that and you're going to tuck your elbow into your side. Okay? So the elbow out and then it tucks into the side. Okay? You're going to do eight of each. You're going to feel it right between the shoulder blades, maybe even a little bit at the bottom of the shoulder blades, about right there. If you feel it in those areas, you're doing it right. And before you know it, people are going to be staring at your back. Hopefully, the top. If they want to look at the bottom, they can too. But <laughs> anyway, that was your tip of the day. Uh, any questions on eyes, Y's, and T's? 
shoot me a message, let me know. Otherwise, appreciate you guys watching. Until next week.